Hey guys, how are you? Okay, before anything, I just want to say that my nails are just horrible right now and I didn't notice them until I finished the video. I've been so busy that I haven't even had time to get them done, so I apologize for that. But anyways, that's not the point of the video. Today we're gonna make three delicious smoothie bowls. I love to eat these. Like, they're so fun to eat and they're delicious, they're nutritious, and they're very, very easy to make. Let me know also in the comments below if there's a specific specific smoothie bowl recipe that you like, I would like to try that. The best part about these is that you can really customize them to however you want. But these are some of the recipes that I like and I hope that you like them too. So how about we get started and what do we say? Ready? Let's do this. Smoothie bowl number one is gonna be a green superfood smoothie bowl. And for this, you're gonna need two frozen bananas, two cups of frozen berries, one cup of spinach that supports healthy bones, one cup of kale for essential minerals and helps to detox your body, half an avocado for healthy fat and protein, two dates to sweeten it, or you can also use coconut sugar if you like, one teaspoon of spirulina, which is rich in minerals, in protein, vegan protein, and I personally like that taste. Half a cup of almond milk for healthy fat, half a cup of coconut water for hydration, and you just simply put all of these ingredients in the blender and you blend really well. Now it's ready to serve. My favorite part, which is just adding the toppings and making it pretty. And the toppings not only make it taste better, look better, but it also adds extra nutrition. So this is really great because you're, you get to enjoy it and eat healthy at the same time. And for this one, I chose pineapple, strawberries, almonds, cacao nibs, hemp seeds, shredded coconut, goji berries, and some raspberries. Doesn't that look delicious? Okay, smoothie bowl number two is healthy belly, good digestion smoothie bowl because papaya and pineapple help for healthy digestion. So we're gonna need two frozen bananas, one cup of pineapple, one cup of papaya, half a cup of coconut, a little piece of ginger for an immunity booster, half a cup of almond milk, and half a cup of coconut water. You put all of these ingredients in the blender and it's ready. And now you just simply serve it and you guys look at this beautiful color. Isn't it so pretty? This one I topped it off with banana, strawberries, blueberries, pumpkin seeds, coconut, almonds, mulberries, you can really decorate it as much as you want. And remember that if you make one of these, take a picture of it and hashtag Rabana. The last one is one of my favorites, which is acai bowl. Acai is a fruit that is grown in Latin America, but we can find it here in the US frozen. It comes in little packets and it's really, really good. And it's very high in antioxidants, minerals. It helps detox your body. It has so many benefits, just like all fruits and vegetables. So it's gonna be one frozen banana, two packets of acai, one tablespoon of cacao powder, two dates to sweeten it, but you can also use coconut sugar if you want, half a cup of almond milk, and half a cup of coconut water. You blend all of these and it's ready. So now you're gonna top it off with banana, strawberries, pineapple, raspberries. I like to make mine like super, super colorful. One teaspoon of almond butter, blueberries, pumpkin seeds, cacao nibs, goji berries, and a little bit of healthy fat. Now we have our three delicious smoothie bowls. Don't they look absolutely amazing and so, so good. <laughs> What's wrong with mine? I don't know which one to pick. They all look so good. But I think I'm gonna try the green one first because I feel like maybe some people wouldn't think it tastes good, but I think it's gonna be really, really good. Don't they look so pretty? I'm so excited. They look delicious. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Ready? Wow. Yes, like seriously, it's all the nuts and seeds add like this crunchy flavor and the sweetness of the fruit, the creaminess of the avocado. It's so good. Let's see. 
The ginger adds like a little bitter taste to it, which I personally like, but if you don't like ginger, you can totally omit it. It's delicious. So good. Yay! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. You guys, it's so, so good. Seriously, they're all delicious. I really hope that you guys liked this video and that you try this recipe. And I would love to know in the comments below which one of the three you want to try. And if you do try it, please take a picture of it and use the hashtag Ravana so that I can see it and like it. I get super, super excited when I see your creations. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. And remember, you guys helped me so, so much with a thumbs up, a like and I really put love into this recipe and I hope that you like it. And also if you subscribe here to my channel below and if you have any suggestions of videos, I would love that as well. I love making content that you like and I'll also leave you all of my social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, everything at Ravana. Thank you guys and I'll see you later. Bye. Of all the three, I think my favorite one was the green one, but you guys can let me know which one you like the most.